to go and see your podiatrist every so often because the nail was literally digging this in and caused a sore and we saw a little bit of pus. If you like our channel, please subscribe and set yourself up for notifications so you'll never miss any brand new videos. Hey guys, what's up? It's Dr. Ben, Healthy Feet Podiatry. I hope everybody's enjoying their fall. Hope everybody's drinking a ton of pumpkin spice. We got a cool one today. Let's take a look. All right, we got some long nails. Story is, is that she's been in and out of the hospital and nobody will touch her feet. So we are here to help her. She's on blood thinners, which means that uh, if you are on blood thinners, which uh, causes your blood to be thin, you can easily cut yourself. Well, cutting yourself will, cu will cause you to bleed a lot. That doesn't make any sense. Let's just get to it. Yeah, so she's on blood thinners. So it's easy to bleed if I nick her. So we're gonna cut her nails for her so she doesn't risk cutting them at home. And you can see here, like all these nails, look at this nail is, look at this nail is digging into her skin right there. You see that case? Look at this one too. Yeah, her nails are digging into her skin. So she cuts herself. She's at risk for bleeding all over the place. So it's best to do it in a controlled environment like at the podiatrist's office. And we'd be more than happy for you to come in every couple of months so we can cut your nails for you. Thumbs up, I love it. <laughs> Let me know if I'm hurting you, okay? I'm good. We'll make sure we don't cut any toes off. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. I can promise you I'll leave with at least nine toes. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, on this side, case. There we go, yeah. So let's get underneath this one. This one's definitely digging in. A lot of nail junk underneath here. That's like all that fungal debris kind of breaks up. Kind of like uh, like a feta cheese kind of thing. That's that's the consistency you're kind of, you're you're seeing underneath these nails. You just ruined feta for me. Feta. <laughs> well, I just think I got there. <laughs> Blue cheese. How about that? Oh, Blue favorite. cheese. Don't Blue cheese. Oh man, I want to see how people can eat blue cheese. That's. Oh, yeah, no. Like when I get wings at Hooters. It's always ranch for me. It's blue cheese just doesn't do it for me. <laughs> Crumble blue cheese, right? Isn't that blue cheese? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can see how much it's been digging into the skin. Probably another month or so, it would have definitely caused a sore and ulcer that would have definitely led to an infection. So you came in at the right time. How long ago, when was the last time you seen a doctor for this? Or had your nails cut? Oh my God, it was... It's been a while, yeah. It, it's yeah. it's hard, and you know, not every hospital has a podiatrist that comes through. Um, and when you're in and out, especially during these times, it's you know, it's hard to get an appointment, or it's hard to even. When, my, when I have my appointment, that's when the pandemic, everything just yeah went to pieces. You couldn't. You you can get anywhere. We couldn't get any people to even come see us at one point. <laughs> I would have like three patients a day and then I'd leave at noon like this is this is great. And then when they started getting busy again, I was like getting really mad. I was like, why do I have so many patients? I'm so tired. I want to go home at noon. Oh, right. So we're looking good there. Okay, let's switch sides. And your health is doing okay right now? Everything's yeah, under control? It's pretty good. Under control, thank God. Good, good, good. That's always a good thing. That's always a good thing. What are you going to be for Halloween? I don't do Halloween. You don't do Halloween? No. As in, like, you don't believe in Halloween? Or, like... No, I don't believe in it. I don't. Oh, it. really? Mm -hmm. Let's get over here, Case. Right, yeah. 
make sure we get in with it. Do you do you practice Halloween? Uh, I haven't celebrated Halloween in a bit, I guess, because I just got older. But, I mean, I was thinking about going to a Halloween party. Oh, wow. Sure, Look how much that was digging in. Ooh. Okay, you know, another, you know, teach their own. Definitely. There goes some more of that nail debris underneath here. See how it just crumbles, breaks apart right here? Yeah. Let's get more of that out. Oh, this was kind of sort of breaking down the skin, right? Oh my gosh, there's a little pus here. See what I mean? Does that hurt? Sorry. Yeah, we were on the brink of a bad infection. We actually mm -hmm. caught an early infection right here. Oh, wow. You see the pus? So we'll make sure we'll clean that out really well before you leave, okay? I'm glad we caught it. If you're gonna be here early on the first, you have to be special for the 15th. Oh no. Yeah. And we have appointments like every day. You guys are just busy, huh? Yeah. Too busy for your own good. I get it. Mm -hmm. I'm like so busy now. It's just never like any free time anymore. I used to go home and play video games for like three or four or five hours at a time. This was like a year or two ago. And then I had my kid and like I don't even have time to breathe anymore. There's always something. Yeah, the little one. The little one. Girl's just, just crazy. Don't have kids, guys, until you're absolutely ready. I guess you're never ready, right, Case? Okay, so, so I'm gonna clean that. Let's let's follow these down. focus on this little ulcer or abscess or whatever we have down here oh yeah as you can see the break in the skin if you look really closely definitely a break in the skin here so that's why it's important to go and see your podiatrist every so often because the nail is literally digging this in and cause a sore and we saw a little bit of pus okay but now that we got that out i don't think you need to be on antibiotics or anything we just got to put some ointment some salve i'm going to prescribe that to you and just keep it clean and keep it covered, okay? Okay. So, whoo! Yeah, see that case? A little cut in the skin right there. No doubt about it. So we dodged a bullet. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of white man. And a band-aid. I'll have you guys come back every couple of months so that I can keep an eye on her, okay? That way they don't dig into her skin anymore. Any questions, concerns, or anything like that? Not at all, nothing that basically we should have just been here sooner. Yeah, no big deal. Um, well, anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for letting us record. Be sure to check us out on YouTube, like and subscribe. You guys too, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.